Nigerian policies, the implementation and impact. Nigeria has been acknowledged in the world to have the best paper policy. The implementation of such policy and adherence to it has, however, suffered a lot of setbacks. This is evidence in the lapses seen in the formulation of such policies, which do not usually carry along necessary stakeholders. Vulnerable Nigerians has always been at the receiving end of such policies. Taking a look at the fuel subsidy and the CBN new cashless policy, you will agree with me that a lot of adjustments need to be made going forward. The Nigerian policymakers need to improve on the ways and manner policies are formulated and implemented, most especially the security brutality that comes with such implementation. Beyond the government lapses, fellow Nigerians need to stop taking on due advantages of things to make life harder for fellow Nigerians by hiking prices of goods and services to the tune of selling the Naira currency. It's bad. We complain about Nigerian leaders of which we engage in activities worse than what they do. Yeah, in other aspects, you say fellow Nigerians should stop taking on due advantage. We we're just talking about it now, about hike, the price hike. You want to redraw 10,000, you pay 2,000. It's a process, it's a, it's a, it's a problem where we, we, grat we seek personal gratification over national value. Okay. Now, there is scarcity of cash. Mm. Can a businessman just give out his money to POS and say, please, deposit this money in my account, you can use this money for the at this POS to give to other people so that they can have access to cash. Why must you be, oh, oh money, no day. I can make money now. Oh yeah, how much you go buy them? That's very wrong. You know, the, the, the have, you done, have you done anything like that? <laughs> Even if it's ten thousand, you gave the POS. Yes, and that's what I've been doing for this last week. You've been giving yes. the POS. So where's yes, 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 you getting the money? Free of charge. Family business. We just look. Whoa, 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 Free of we charge. We go and deposit money with POS agents. Mm. Just give it to them, and they are able to you No, know, they will transfer the money back to your account, and they are able to use so the cash to so help other people. That needs the money. No, no, no the, the okay. point. I don't have to. I don't have to meet the POS person. On the normal day, before this cash, uh, cash, uh, cash scarcity, that is what is obtainable. You have a business person by your side who does a uh, good volume of uh, cash. Mm. At the end of the day, it comes to you. You don't need to charge this person because this person is uh, helping you reserve the cost exactly. for going to the bank. The bank so yeah. this are But immediately they knew that they, look, they hide the price. There's no cash. Everybody no, wants to take advantage yeah, but, of the situation. But, but this thing you are suggesting, it's it's like a Band-aid on on when when the head is off, you know, yeah. you, are, you are you are putting the responsibility on the citizens. To of solve, course, to solve a problem. problem that, yeah, in, in a normal in a, in a normal I crime, do. yeah, that should, it shouldn't be the responsibility it's of the citizen that is just doing his own thing on his own. And you're not saying why can't he? It's not his business. No, no, no. no, 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 no the thing I would like to draw attention to is it's affecting the public. We are talking about national values here. Let's look at it now. On one hand, we talk about poor uh, policies, you know, not taking uh, cognizance of all the stakeholders. Now, another point is, in a situation like this where, oh, this point, the implementation has started and we can see lapses, what do we expect leaders like the National Assembly, the President, what do we expect them to do? Because I, I heard a lot of people say, it may feel this the governor of the Central Bank. But the point is, the box stops where? I mean, that, that is one bit, and I, I will talk on that, but I mean, like what you said, that uh, when you were talking about um, uh, saying we expect the citizen to solve the problem created by government, I agree with you, it's a problem created by government, but you see, that is part of the biggest problems we're having here, because we've separated governments from, from the people. Yeah. The people are the number one government, and I'll give you a very simple example. In Nigeria, for example, today, our professors are complaining, ASU, NASU, San, everybody yeah. is complaining. And we, the citizens, a lot of us, and when I say citizens, I don't mean we here alone, we may not have that money, but people with access to money, people who can volunteer, but people like us who can volunteer, we look on and we insult government. And the, 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 the irony of it is that in other climes, in Europe and America, where they have all the money, you see people committing to these universities. Exactly. What we're seeing. No, but we we have have I, think, I think the reason why we, we've gotten to that point where we look on has to do with broken trust. I, I agree. We don't trust these people. And that is the, you know, and because when you see a senator or a, a, a president or a governor, yeah. the kind of budget they have for personal, and, and, and you're now telling someone who to go go the extra mile. So you see, you understand. The, and I agree with you. And that is the reason for who we have become. Exactly. We're talking you about understand? So story. it's a, it's a journey. It's it's a journey. Exactly. That's yeah. the reason for who we have become. What we feel to realize in Nigeria, in my view, is that 
we've become something, but we don't understand we've become this person. Mm. This is who we are. So we still, we, still, we still move back. We still move back. That, thinking that's what we, that. Exactly. But that's who we are. The government is a reflection so of who we are. What we need to do now. now, in my view, is that we need to start tracing our steps back. And that's why I tell people that when you insult government every time, I agree with you. Government is nasty, the policy is bad, everything. But if you look at the people, the average local government chairman today, let's take Lagos State, for example, in Lagos State, was not an important person 15 years ago. Mm. Of course. It was just like you and I. Exactly. Yeah. But he's coming to government. And because he's become like government, yeah. he does things like government, government does. And he doesn't even feel it that I'm hurting the people. So we need to start tracing it back. And this, the mistake we make is when you speak like this, a lot of people say, you are blaming the people. No. no. But it's the You're truth. not blaming the people. What you're saying, we've subconsciously, we have subconsciously yeah. walking the same path as government. As government. And so nothing much is changing. It's, it's just like looking into the mirror. You are blaming government for the scarcity of Naira. Yeah. You that have the Naira. You're not the And they are sending it. Okay. Are you not weekend? And, and like you said, that who's not like, there? That's what, 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 let's look at there. it this way now. Because I think one of there. the reasons why policies, we get uh, a lot of people get surprised about the policies of government is because our political consciousness is a bit low or weak Very to say. So. Because uh, if, you, if you ask people what is it about cashless uh, policy, I think a lot of people will tell you they don't even understand yeah, what it's all about. Understand. So I think we, one of the things we need to do is to drive home you know, this political consciousness mm. and also uh, uh, people's um, excitement <laughs> to participate. What, what, what <laughs> is your take on that? Just now. <laughs> okay, look, um, you see, I agree with you up to a level. You know, so there's this course I just finished this late last year, School of Politics, Policy and Governance. Okay. And there was a lady that came. Yeah, there's, a, there's a person. Yeah, yeah. A lady that came on board and she spoke about the work she has been through with communities. I, I'm tying it directly to what you said about okay. um, effectiveness of policies. Mm -hmm. And what she does is she goes to communities, she goes to carpenters, they have associations, she goes to bricklayers, and she tells them sits down with them when they go for their regular their monthly or weekly meetings mm -hmm. and says okay for instance we're trying to prevent hiv this is what it can do this is what it cannot do this is how to prevent it and the effectiveness is so high mm -hmm. telling us that you know it's not so much about the policy as it's about the way of implementation and if you sit from the top you are you're kind of distanced from yeah, I'm telling you that for someone that is earning one thousand or two thousand a day or whatever, your reality is so far different. from them that they might be they might as well be in a different country mm -hmm. entirely. Mm -hmm. So it has to be from the grassroots. Yeah, they understand. Yeah, then there's a there's a back and forth. It's not just we finished it. This is it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not working. We are just until yeah. you have it perfected. That's and then you can roll out. Uh, you, you see, what I realize is that they don't. The only time, I think that there's a lot of budget around policy implementation, and I find out that the only thing they do when it comes to implementation is the one that benefits them. Now, when you say go to the grassroots and you know do all this implementation, do the what's it called focus group and all of that, mm. they won't do it because it doesn't bring anything directly to them. We understand that. Sorry for cutting you. Uh, I'm just trying to say that you know um, while the government is failing. There are individuals who have taken it who, upon who have taken up responsibility, which is why yeah. I was against you saying that um, you know rich people in quotes. I mean, we are all rich people to mm. some people. Wait, they are the ones who rich they show. Yeah. I don't agree with that kind of Not rich people, okay. perspective, people. but I'm saying that <laughs> some people have already solved these problems. Yeah. Find them out and, and you know just use them. what yeah. you yeah. already. Mm. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Oluwadalapo Ojilabi is next after the break.